Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca Smuckla. I'm here from the Department of Educational Technology. Today we wanna to share with you some updates that have been happening in Google Meet this week. Um, you may have some of these, you may not, but we're gonna go ahead and talk through some of those. Oh, I'm on the wrong month. So in August, you remember we came to you and we talked to you about knocking and the Google Classroom and SIS integration. Now in September, we have some new updates coming. We have a seven by seven tiled view with 49 participants can be seen on screen at once. I have that one. Some of my team members don't. So don't be upset if you don't have it yet. We also have the option to disable the in meeting chat and also to set the restrictions on who can present during the meet. So all of these things are coming to you right now. We also have one that we expected in October and that's blurring or replacing a background. I don't have that one yet and no one on my team does either, but we've seen a couple of people throughout the district that do have it. So we wanted to share that with you as well. We talked about knocking last time. So let's talk about these host controls. So you as the owner of the meet. So remember, you have to have been in the meet first. The first adult in the Google meet becomes the owner of the meet. That person now has the ability to control who can share their screen and also to control who can send in meeting chat messages. 49 tiled view. Did you have the grid view fix? You don't need it anymore. We don't need that extension anymore because inside of Google meet, we now have a tiled view you can see 49 participants on your screen, including yourself. Very exciting. We also have rolling out right now quick access. This is one I don't have either, but it's coming soon and some people are starting to see it. So we wanted you to be aware about it. So when you have quick access on participants in the same domain or at palmbeachschools.org, they don't have to knock. They can just come right on in. But once you turn that quick access off, Anybody who wants to join your meet has to knock. So you have the control over who's going to join even inside Palm Beach Schools. So we went really quickly through those and I know you want to see what these look like inside of a meet. So we're going to toss it over to Mr. Long, who's going to be our teacher today. And he is going to uh, demo all of these uh, great new features right inside a meet. Thanks, Rebecca. And now we're going to go to my class. And so today we have some really cool things to share with you today. Those are my students. I love the energy. I cannot wait to see what they create today. But I need to remind everybody that, hey, just because I show you a feature today doesn't mean you're going to have it. And so that's OK, because you have 15 days to get it. So I'm going to say one more time in slow motion. If you don't have the feature today, wait 15 days and maybe you'll have it. If not, we'll see what happens. All right, so already my class is just jamming with chats. Now those are great for doing things, but sometimes we wanna turn that off so I can get some uh, instruction going and we can turn them on. Over here, we have this little shield here, and that has some of the moderator controls, like quick access, share their screen, send chat messages. But guess what? They're in other places, too. If I go up here to the chat, I can say, I want to turn that feature off so they can't chat anymore. And guess what? There's other ways they can turn. Oh, yeah, boo you, too. All right. So down here in under settings, we can also find another way to do host controls where they can send chat messages and stuff like that. So those are some features uh, besides the ch chat features. Now, what if somebody starts to present their screens and they're like show, taking over their screen? Well, you can actually go in and turn that off. So like I can go in here under my uh, settings here Post controls, and I could turn off the ability to share their screens. So they can't share their screens. That's not too bad, huh? All right, so you have to moderate that. Let me show you what quick access is, too. If I go back here to settings and over to host controls, it says when turned off, only people invited by the host can join without asking. Also, everyone else must ask to join, including people who dial in and people who can't join anonymously are only hosts. So if you've got someone calling in, maybe you can turn this feature off when turned off, and so they can't do it unless you invite them in. 
So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, guess what? If you don't have that feature today, don't worry, it's gonna keep coming. Just because it's not here today doesn't mean you'll get it in the next 15 days. We're on a slow rollout. 15 days. All right. Tile view. All right. Rebecca says that we don't have the smart fix anymore, the grid view fix whatever. It was crazy. So if you go over here to the change layout, under tile now, you have the ability to start with 16, but guess what? You can go all the way up to 49. So you can change that and have a grid of 49 people and it changes after every class. So if it doesn't happen in every class, you have to go back to the settings to change it back to change layout, tile view, and use the slider bar down there. And that's basically it for all the updates in my class. My classes are so attentive. So say thank you, class. And I will turn it back to Rebecca and talk about the blur because I don't have the blur. I have to wait 15 days. <laughs> Thank you, John. I don't have the blur either. As a matter of fact, there's only one person that I know for sure, for sure has it. But I know that we're all going to get it soon because Google has announced that it's rolling it out. So it will be coming to us soon. Uh, we do have all of the blog posts from Google linked to the Google slide deck that we just showed you at the beginning of the presentation. And that is all going to be found on our EdTech website. Speaking of our website, there it is right there, edtechtraining.palmbeachschools.org. Please visit us um, frequently. We are constantly putting uh, updates um, from everyone on the training team, everybody in educational technology. Thank you very much. Please reach out if you have any, um, any issues. Thanks.